have a nice day students today we are going to study some of the beautifying tips of the characters which we typed in our LibreOffice writer software to beautify a character first of all we must select the character or the text we typed you can use any of the methods uh, which you studied to select the character um, I'm selecting I place the cursor on the left side of the paragraph, the starting point. Then I am holding the uh, shift key, pressing the down arrow to select it. If you are familiar with mouse selection, if you feel uh, the mouse uh, selection is convenient, you can uh, proceed with that. Now I select the uh, selected the paragraph. If you want to bold the letter, we have a graphical. Uh, option to bold the character, but I think it is better to use the shortcut key. Uh, use control B, control B uh, to bold the character. Then uh, one more thing, if you prefer to uh, bold and underline the heading, you can use control B for bold and control U for underline. The next if you want to increase the font size you have a shortcut by holding down the control key uh, you can use two other keys uh, that is the keys of curly bracket open or curly bracket close the same key we can use for square bracket open and square bracket close uh, just above the upper row of the enter key. Now I am holding down the control key and I am pressing uh, the square bracket close to increase the font size. Now it is increasing and if you want to decrease the font size so hold down the control key and uh, you can use the square bracket open to decrease the font. <coughs> okay. So that is a shortcut to increase or decrease the font size. Then next we are going to study italics to italics the character we can use another shortcut for suppose I want to make italics this length determining this character I would like to be uh, italics so first of all select the character you can use the shortcut control I and these all uh, control I, control B for bold and control um, U for underline all these are toggle keys. You can uh, press the same key once again to restore the characters in the previous position. And uh, when you hit the key repeatedly you can see the uh, action is toggling repeatedly. Okay. Uh, next we are going to study how to <coughs> change the font style and color of the character. Okay. To change the font style, suppose uh, when we select the character, I am selecting this paragraph. In this paragraph, I used liberation uh, serif, that is the font name of the font style. Now I am changing to it to uh, another one we have uh, various font size uh, font style uh, now I am selecting this one now you can see the font style has been changed um, and you can use any of the font style uh, in the in this option this is another one okay so this is the option to change the font style the next one is uh, we can change the font color okay here uh, we have a simple option here font color you can click here you can select any of the color i prefer blue okay now we changed the font color and we have another option to change the font color uh, by selecting the paragraph, I am selecting this paragraph and uh, next I am going through format menu, <coughs> ok. 
character. Here you can see a tab named as font effect. By default, it will be automatic. You can change the automatic to uh, any other color you prefer. I am selecting this dark purple. Yes, then click OK. You can change the color of the character. So, this is the method to change the font style and font color. Okay. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.